Now there is also this being reported tonight from the New York Times. They are reporting that the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was granted top secret security clearance because President Trump overruled top intelligence officials. According to the Times, that decision was so troubling to senior administration officials that former chief of staff John Kelly wrote a memo noting that he had been ordered to give Kushner clearance. And former White House counsel Don McGahn also documented his objections and concerns. In January, the president denied any involvement. And earlier this month, Ivanka Trump also denied her father played any role in the process. There were anonymous leaks about there being issues, but the president had no involvement pertaining to my clearance or my husband's clearance. And Peter Baker, again, this, this news just breaking tonight uh, from your newspaper, but take us through, if you will, just a little bit about what we know here about what was playing out behind the scenes with, uh, with President Trump uh, reportedly giving this order, overruling the folks around him. And what are the implications? If, if that can be established and these, uh, these public denials are, are, are on the record, are, are there, is there a fallout uh, from this? Yeah, I know it's very interesting, of course. There was some disagreement among the professionals who had evaluated uh, Jared Kushner for this top clearance, a top secret clearance. Some of them thought that it was fine to go ahead and give it to him. Others thought, no, there were some serious concerns that had to be weighed first and were very reluctant, were not going to recommend that kind of thing. And the president kind of cut through it and basically said to John Kelly, his chief of staff, make it happen. It's interesting that John Kelly made a point of con re making a record of this in writing at the time so that there would be no question, at least from his point of view as to what had happened. He, he wrote down in a memo that the president had ordered him to do it. Now, we were in the Oval Office with the president just one month ago, my colleague Maggie Haberman and I, and she asked him about this because she had been reporting on this, wh whether or not he had had anything to do, the president, with uh, Jared Kushner's security clearance. And he told us flatly to our face, no, he did not. No, he did not. And so uh, this memo directly contradicts that, a memo in the hand of his own chief of staff. And the second memo that Don McGahn, his White House counsel at the time, wrote out also directly uh, seems to contradict it in the sense that he talks about the concerns that he had that led him to recommend not giving the, uh, the highest security clearance to Jared Kushner. So this is, this, is a, this is a big deal, both on the merits and in terms of uh, what the White House and the president himself have said about what happened behind closed doors. And Kelly, this is another case we've seen this that the Trump administration, I think, a number of times on a number of different fronts. But in terms of what goes on behind the scenes, the normal procedures behind the scenes in the executive branch, the Trump presidency through this uh, through this story, through this drama, has shined a light on an area that I think a lot of people hadn't paid much attention to before. You're a veteran of a couple of administrations there. This issue of security clearances, of a president personally getting involved, has something like this, are you aware of a, a precedent for this, of, of this happening at all in other administrations? I am not aware of any precedent for this. I mean, the security clearance process is a pretty sacred process. All national security officials and civil servants have to go through that process. Uh, it's done by our law enforcement investigation agencies. And the fact that the president weighed in with a, essentially a political decision uh, in, and interfered in an investigation or in some sort of background investigation, I think it's unprecedented. I've never heard of anything like it. All right. Kelly Magsum and Peter Baker, Sue Me Terry, thank you all for joining us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.